Wow, that's some bright sunshine. Have you guys ever had questions about solar that you really wanted to get answered, but you really didn't want to just contact a solar company and start that process and have all these phone calls start? Are you concerned about talking to a reputable company, not getting ripped off? There's a bunch of scams out there. Have you gone to websites and looked at them, put in your information, and all of a sudden you start getting phone calls? What does this barn have to do with a potential solar project we're doing out here? Hold on one sec. I'll explain because we're going to have you let you guys participate in this. So hold on. So guys, why am I standing out here in the burning sunshine talking to you guys? Because we're kind of at the end phases of this farmhouse renovation project. So this is a 40 acre property that we bought that was abandoned and we had to go over the every square inch of this place and reclaim it from mother nature. The farmhouse project, the actual house, we basically took down to two by fours and rebuilt that whole thing. The pond had to be redone. All these fields had to be established. Thousand foot gravel driveways. This is a 7,000 square foot garden that we installed. Irrigation systems, everything. It's really been a, a, the most challenging part of my life for the past year and a half, but we're coming to the sort of finalized conclusion. The last step that we, I, we had considered and I've talked about with uh, Ryan and family is solar. Why am I talking about solar? Because I do have a whole house generator system and we are not remote, but we do have above ground power lines here. Last week we had a real bad thunderstorm. We lost 24 trees. That's why I put in the other driveway. That main driveway was blocked. We lost power for 13 hours the first day and 10 hours the second day. It's real nice to be able to walk outside, kick in the generator, turn a couple switches, and you got power. But we had talked about going solar. The problem that I have with solar is the same problem you have with solar. Number one is the expense. That's the number one hurdle. Number two is who do you trust? <laughs> uh, three years down the line, when your solar system is going bad, you go call the web, the company that had you installed that installed it, and they're out of business. It's a real delicate situation. Every single state has different regulations. Every single state has different participation. Every single state has, every county has different regulations. You have building permits, electrical permits. Are you going to be able to sell your electricity back? Are you going to be able to supplement? Is there a limit? My power company, quote unquote, limits me to 10 kilowatts, but there's a ways around that. So it's real important to find a good company, which I did. I've spent a long time looking. So in this sort of process, what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring you guys along with me. I'd like to have you guys participate. So what I want you to do is I want you, in the comment down below, I'd like you to ask a question that you'd like me to ask the solar company that's coming up. They have some real knowledgeable people and some real experts. They've been doing this a long time. They're one of the largest and most well-known in the area, and especially for their reputation. So I want you guys to answer questions, not just about cost, but what else? What else do you want to know? So let me walk you through. Now, this property is basically self-sufficient. Um, we're not living off the grid, but if we wanted to, I could close the gates. We have three water sources. We have the three acre pond, we have a shallow well, and then we drilled a 600 foot deep well. That's all set. Um, we have, we manage the place for all the wildlife. There's fish in the pond. We have huge amount of produce. We have pulled a thousand pounds of produce out of this garden this year alone. So if we wanted to close those gates, the only thing we would need uh, is power. So. Here's what I want to do. Let me walk you over to the barn and I'll show you what I initially thought and how we've sort of changed a little bit. Okay, so I think I flew over this with the drone, but I want to show you this barn situation. And what's interesting about this barn situation, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon and you can see that this side, which most companies don't want to put solar panels on because it's a little bit um, north facing, is getting full sun and it gets at full sun. And I told uh, the person I was talking to, it gets full sun almost all day long. I got one tree next to the barn. It's like an old crab apple tree that's coming down anyways, but there's no trees around it. It's got a real low pitch. So I've got a real low pitch on a lot of this and it's just an open space. My initial plan was let's put everything up here. Let's put all the solar panels and the batteries up here and then we'll just trench it down to the house. Now I've trenched a lot. So we've trenched in water from the pump house down to the house, electric, everything. But what I quickly learned is that it's fine maybe to put the solar panels up here, but 
you can't, but it's a constant communication issue between the batteries and the solar panels running back and forth to the house. So now what we're kind of thinking about is, is put your power source, your panels up here, and then mount the batteries down at the house along with all your inverters or whatever you need, because a lot of that stuff can go outside. We really don't have a place for it inside the house. That's the problem. So it has to be outside ready. So this is kind of where we're at right now. We're at the stage of, um, I've got a real good electrical guy that does a lot of outdoor work that does my trenching and running. So he may do that part. I'm sure that'll save me a little bit of money, but it's more than I want to spend. I'll tell you right now. I mean, and um, only way I'm going to do this is if you guys get involved and if you guys say, Hey doc, we'd really love to see this project come through. So, um, get involved, drop a question down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And the other point I do want to make, a lot of people are going to say, Doc, why don't you just do it yourself? I don't do electrical, especially solar myself. Um, I've had issues in the past with a lot of friends that have insurance problems. You have to have all the right permitting. You have to have it done right. If you go in and do something like this yourself and your barn or your house burns down, I'm just telling you, you're asking for trouble. So I want a professional company to come out. I want them to use a good product with a good warranty from products that will be there 10 years down the road when I have some issues. Drop a comment, hit that like button, I'll talk to you later. Doc.